And, you know, things look terrible, and the storm is there, and the hurricane, and the wind is blowing, and things to turn around. And, and so, I, but I am not telling you I'm bullish on the market at all. I, I think that we do have a lot of problems with this market. I mean, it, it, you, you, you really have a situation where the market's boy for reasons that don't relate to value, meaning you, you get low interest rates. People have no way to put their money. Money flows into index funds and whatever, and it just keeps going until it stops going. So I, I'm not going to tell you that. I'm bullish, but, you know, these things have cycles. The energy companies, I mean, we, the people aren't going to stop using oil. I mean, you, if you get a recession, maybe they'll be less used. But then again, you got the problem with Iran. you got the problem with Venezuela. You, you, you have some discipline with Saudi Arabia and OPEC. I, I mean, I personally won't say that, but, but it's sort of interesting. Now that you mentioned oil prices going down, how does... This board and and uh, and Vicky have the have the temerity to risk the company, literally risk the dividends for certain, and even a, a bet like this when they don't have a balance sheet to back it up. I mean, a Chevron could do it, an Exxon could do it, but she, it's really blatantly uh, uh, ridiculous to be doing the deal that she did here, and to say that there shouldn't be accountability. Is, is is really an absurdity. Let me. I mean, in the army, if she did something like this, they court martial.